Good morning, a bit of an update and then we'll crack on with today's modifications. So after we used the van last Saturday, the day after we collected it, you know if you watched the last video, found an issue with the battery, fixed it myself, but then discovered it hadn't got a vent tube in it. Um, while we were using the van on the Saturday night, we discovered a water leak from the kitchen tap. Had to drain the system down, contacted Brownells the next day. They said, no problem, bring the van in, we'll sort it. I said, not bringing the van in, we've just had it, it's 100 miles round trip, you fetch the van, your problem. And to, fair, to be fair to them, they did. They collected it last Friday, the 11th of December, and it was due yesterday, the 14th of December, to come back. Had a phone call yesterday morning, can't fix your van, needs a new tap, six to eight weeks. I said, not having that, you best find a tap really quickly. We've had the van less than 30 days. Um, you and I both know, well, you might not know, but if you buy something 30 days, it's the actual seller's problem, not the manufacturer. So if you're getting a new van and you find an issue, have a go at your dealer and remind them of the Sale of Goods Act, which is, it's their problem until then. After reminding them of that, they said, bear with us, we'll ring you back. Three hours later, phone call, your van's all fixed, it'll be back in a bit. And it turned up, fingers crossed, it works. In total honesty, I haven't tested it because it came back yesterday afternoon because of the weather and, and whatever, the van was filthy, so I washed it. I'm not going to fill it up with water just to check it. Um, I will do over the weekend, but I've got stuff I want to do today. It's nice and dry. I need, I need the dry weather. So fingers crossed, I wouldn't think they'd have sent it out without testing it. That would be really foolish, but I've got time to check it out. So this video, I'm going to do a bit of woodworking. Now I'm not the best woodworker, but what I'm going to do is under the seating area where you store stuff there are things like water pipes and water heaters whatever they are and they're not protected and obviously with lack of storage in these vans you're going to get a bit of cramming in so i'm going to box things in just to protect them um, hence because it's a dry day i'm going to do this even though i don't want to do this there's stuff i really want to do um, but It'll have to wait until it's raining because I can do other stuff in, you know, when it's raining. So I'm going to box them in. I'm going to put some shelves in the wardrobe because we don't use it as a hanging space. We'll put boxes in with folded clothes in and slide them in. Um, I'll also on this video, don't want to bore you too much, but as well as sort of wanting to entertain people and help them out, I also want to do these as a bit of a, a video diary for ourselves so that we don't have to store a million things on our phones there'll be certain footage that you might think is really boring like me talking right now um, so there's a bit of footage on this video of the van going back to the dealer and coming back and uh, then the rest of it will be me just boxing stuff in there'll be a separate video to come I'm gonna change the charge controller that's arrived now I'm gonna move some sockets because some of the sockets are in a daft place um, all stuff like that again it's a new van, I appreciate that, but it still has to be workable for me. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Far too much talking, I'll see you in a bit. So it's not a very nice morning at all. Weather's horrible, but it is December. So these two gentlemen have just come to collect the pearl to take back for its, its, um, <laughs> its bits that needed fixing. That, that weren't done when we collected it uh, where, um, at, uh, um, Brown Hill so far have been you know excellent with everything to try and accommodate us as much as possible they've obviously got a busy period with what's been happening with Covid and everything um, but they're doing all that they can to rectify it for us Cause like I say it's not our fault and um, and they've, they've been very good um, so like you say, uh, all right then. Thank you. Um, uh, it's going to be returned Monday morning, um, and uh, let's hope that's that's it. <laughs> Thank you. 
There she goes. Doubt whether they'll drive that slowly once they're out on the open road and I'm not videoing them, but there you go. <laughs> There you go folks, that's Pearl back after a trip to Brown Hills. She wasn't very clean, but he said he was only going to do the sides. But I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. You'll have to excuse the fan if you can hear it. I've got the heating on, I'm on hookup. So this is uh, a CV20 and as you walk in you've got what they like to call a wardrobe it's you know not very big but um, I'm gonna shelf this out I've got some wood the same color it's um, from B&Q I'll show you that when I do it and also the pipe at the bottom they're only made of cardboardy stuff and that'll get crushed I'm gonna box that in and shelf that also what we're gonna do um, you can see here this, this is the heater itself um, there's a little bit of storage in there I want to try and box that in somehow and um, just protect all that eventually what I will do as well where the fuse box and stuff is in here there's a there's a massive void behind that's wasted but this is screwed down I'm going to remove this top and actually hinge this with piano hinge won't be on this video because I've got to get the hinge yet and and box that back area in a bit just any storage is good storage in a van, so that's what I'm going to be concentrating on at the moment. This is the wood for inside the wardrobe, it's the same colour. You get this from B&Q, um, <clears throat> they do sell it in 400mm wide sheets, which a lot of people have used because it's, it's as I think it's about 460, 470 the cupboard depth, so a lot of people have thought well it doesn't matter but I want to actually box the bottom in completely square so I've had to go for a 600 um, so that you can't see a gap right so this is the wood marked up at the size for the bottom I'll have to cut some little corners out to fit it round things but that will actually completely cover the bottom when I've sawn that out right that's the bottom on cut just going to shape it now. So what you can see in the corner here is this little noggin's got to be cut out. So we need to cut 600 that way by 300 that way to get that corner in. And then something similar that side. If I transfer it onto the piece of wood, I'm going to go up 600 in 300. And that'll do the one side. And we're going to do 15 mil across there and 35 mil across there. Let's see how we go. Right, so that's cut to shape now. I've just got to tidy the edges up a bit. It's dragging a fraction on the edge. You wonder why the hole's there. So I can actually lift it out. There we go, that is in. And it's just on some modesty blocks, I'll show you that. So yeah, the four little white blocks, they're called modesty blocks. And then you just literally Can't do it one handed very well. There we go. Drop that in like that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just box the pipe in with some non faced ply just to cover that up. And then we'll have this usable space underneath for, you know, anything like, yeah, well, like a secret area if you like. It's not very secret now, is it? You're on the internet, you fall, but you know what I mean. Right, slight change of plan. Rather than doing it with just a bit of ply and actually boxing this in, I've just cut another section of the faced wood. So we can put stuff in there like heavy stuff or whatever. I can still get to the pipe if I need to and the uh, top itself will actually stop that getting banged about. So that's done. I've also cut a shelf for somewhere across here, but I need to wait for Heather to get back from work to tell me what height she wants it based on what boxes she's going to get right so that's just to show you there's going to be another shelf in there but like i say i don't know the height yet so i'm just holding that for this video so moving on to boxing this area in a bit um, just to protect the stuff more than anything you can see i put a couple of battens on the floor there what i'm going to do is make 
in effect two or three separate little boxes I'm gonna box this water I think it's a water pump isn't it box this in first um, then sort of over box this section here after I've done that you'll see I've cut two pieces of wood the um, the cutout one will slide in there and go slightly over that pipe and then this piece is going to go on the back I have a batten down the the inside I'll put a top on that um, and then obviously I'll face this front off somehow when I've done this this part here it's a wing it and see at the minute um, and then I've taken the the top off here I'm going to box this back end in obviously not going to touch this because it's got to ventilate it's the um, charger and stuff but you can see there's a fair decent size there already I know that my little gas cooker would fit under there the one that I use for cooking outside so it all helps all right so that is battened in now um, I've just got to obviously make a top and then make a section for here to across there somehow. That's uh, part of the second section now. As I say, I'm just building it modular. So here we go. Right, so that's the <coughs> top cut out for the one. Just got to fasten that on and then box that top piece in there. And then the idea behind that obviously is it's protecting everything. So if I wanted to, you know, force something in there, shall we say, I've not got to worry about knocking the pipes or or anything. I think that looks okay. As I say, I'm no woodworker, but I have a go. There we go then. I'll say that's done. Um, like I say, I'm no woodworker. If you saw that up close, you'd say them joins ain't very good. But you can't see it, obviously. And now there's no risk of damaging anything under there. When we load that side up now going to move on to this side and uh, have a think what i'm going to do there rightio so with this one if you can see i've battened all down the sides and at the back and then that part will be the first section then i'm going to make a, a drop down part there and then fill it these sides in but leave enough room to cool that um, yeah, should be okay. There we go then. A lot of effort for not a lot of space gained, but space is a premium and there will be things I have that go in there. Um, so I'm happy enough. The vents are still clear on this and the side ones are still clear underneath this. So I don't see any issues there. Um, I'm happy enough. So all I'll need to do now is just get some sort of piano hinge and either hinge that that way. I don't think it will hinge that way, you see. Might do. But anyway, I shall get something and sort that out. That's me done for today then. Uh, catch you on the next one.